Geordie rebels declare Newcastle an independent state. Prime Minister orders mass evacuation of North East. Britain too broke to remain in control. This is your news from UKBS. UK Broadcasting Service. What you need to know. Good evening, I'm Toby Jug. The radical Geordie rebel group declared themselves and their 250,000-strong Toon army victorious today in their quest to form a separate independent state after months of fighting on the streets of Newcastle. The Prime Minister has ordered the complete withdrawal, admitting that Britain simply could not afford to keep the Geordie population safely under control. We go live to our man Barry McGarry with the Prime Minister from London. Thank you, Toby. I'm here outside number 10. It's been mayhem here today. Cabinet members have been coming and going. I've just seen Defence Secretary Jason Statham carrying a samurai sword going in to number 10. Prime Minister Macker Chatty about to make a statement to the press. Dave, nice one. Thank you, in it, no doubt. Thank you, everybody. I'd like to make a quick statement. In these particularly difficult, uh, turbulent economic times, we simply cannot afford to contain these so-called Geordie rebels, as we have other, more important commitments to attend to. However, we can expect some support from the Americans as we look to regain control from these Geordie upstarts. We will remove the YI and the Toon Army from their temporary hold on to power. God bless America. Thank you. There you have it, Toby. More straight talking from Prime Minister Macker Chatley. Once again, it seems, Britain is in desperate need of American muscle. This is Barry McGarry, Downing Street, London. We can actually go live to the other side, uh, on the steps of the Newcastle Town Hall, where Jaffa McCracken, the leader of the Young Independence, or YI, Geordie Rebel Movement, is to make a statement to the international media. I'd like to just make a, a quick statement to you uh, regarding the current situation. After about 500 years of English domination, repression and mickey-taking, about six months of scrapping and about two weeks of drinking, the Geordie rebels have booted years out and formed our own independent government of Newcastle, including Whitley Bay, Grangetown and Ports of Middlesbrough. We do not want Sunderland. Free bows is being distributed to every Geordie citizen. Poor to the people as we are unafraid to face the battles that we may have to face and have yet to face. Well, there you have it. We will have a translation of that statement for you later on. In the streets of the Northeast, the carnage has already begun. Prime Minister Maka Chatty has had to plead with the Americans to come and save Newcastle from the Geordies. That's your news for tonight. From UKBS Towers, I'm Toby Jug. Good night, UK Broadcasting Service. What you need to know. Thanks, welcome to USBS. Uh, the United States is at war with its 23rd country simultaneously as President today declared himself and the country at war with the Republic of Land. Here's a takeout from his earlier statement. The United States will not stand idly by while the sphere of American influence is denied. Enemies of democracy declare themselves free cannot be allowed. As of 515 this afternoon, the United States of America and its peoples have declared war on Geordie Land. <laughs> And so on. The draft has also been lowered to the age of 15. So, kiddies, say goodbye to your mamas. You're going to Newcastle. USBS. More later updates. USBS. Bringing news to the Empire.
Threat has been detected. Hey, yo, Sarge, how come we gotta keep coming back to this dumping ground? This is the third tour. I still can't tell the dames from the fellas. Why don't they just drop a, a couple of bombs and be done with it? But a boom. <laughs> because Porter really, Uncle Sam and the British do not want a half million dead bodies on the doorstep. No, sir. We're going straight to the head of the snake. Jaffa cake my cracking boy. Release the people from bondage. Free the world. We're gonna save the day. You will see. Yeehaw! You're right, Sarge. <laughs> when was that? Sarge, I, I heard they got some new information about this Jaffa McCrack. Like, uh, he definitely in country this time. Some place on the coast, I heard. True intelligence. <laughs> you know about intelligence, Carruthers. <laughs> yeah, we heard that one before. Just give me one glimpse of that greasy, fat little slimy son of a witch, eh? Corporal Stone got just one shot at this Jaffer man. We could finish this conflict right now. Ain't that right, Stone? Hey, man, don't wake him up. Let the devil sleep, man. Hernandez, that creature that lies beside you sleeping like a baby is the finest sniper in the entire USMC. Kill a machine! I don't give a dog's boot though, Sergeant, with respect. If he's a good sniper, you know what I'm talking about, man? Personally, I don't care about where man puts his dangling, as long as he keeps it clean. <laughs> yeah. Well, you country boys are the same, man. Taking the chicken feathers out of your underpants. <laughs> Laugh it up, Hernandez. Because now you woke him up. A stone, welcome to the land of the living. Sarge says uh, we're gonna seek and destroy. How many Jordy did you pop so far? 37. Yeah. Mostly women. Good evening, Hector. The name is Hernandez. Don't talk to me, man. Don't touch me. I'm sleepy, man. You're so strong, Hector. <laughs> Sweet dreams, and there you go. Okay, ladies, we're gonna land in five minutes. Get your packs together and your heads on the game. Five minutes, let's go, let's go, let's go. Officer on deck, attention. Thank you, Sergeant. At ease, good afternoon. I am your new commanding officer. My name is Captain Watson. Please be seated. Okay, let's get straight down to business. I'm aware that your previous captain lost his eyelids in the Battle of Gateshead. I heard he was a good man. Sergeant, no doubt, briefed you men in transit. Seek and destroy. This man beside me is uh, Lieutenant Robert Smith. A special attache, special boat service. I will leave you men to get acquainted. Good afternoon, you, Lieutenant. Sir. Sir, sir. Thank you, Captain. Good afternoon. Uh, Sergeant Black, Lieutenant. Yeah. I am Lieutenant Smith, and I will be your inside man, as it were. Now, put simply, gentlemen, Jaffa McCracken and his war council are definitely in Gateshead somewhere. We have excellent intel. The heli drop is at 0.30, uh, about a click away from the town centre. Our intel liaison is to meet with us, uh, find out where this McCracken is and what he's up to, and then we'll try and blow the bugger up, which I presume would suit you American fellows down to the ground. Now, do we have any questions? Yeah, I got a question. We got a real shot at this? I mean, uh, it's not exactly an original plan, sir. What, the 57th assassination attempt? I don't see uh, Captain Clint Eastwood upstairs whisking his butt on this one. Porter, really? <laughs> That's quite all right, Sergeant. The answer to your question, Mr. Uh, Porter, really, we shall know when we get there that Captain Watson will be joining us and risking his butt, I believe you call it.
<laughs> I like him. Yes, Stone, you like everyone. He's like James Bond. He's James what? Bond, man. Yes. Well, if there's uh, nothing else, uh, Sergeant Black, uh, gentlemen. Sir! 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 James Bond, ha! You loco, Stone. James Bond. What? Man, you talking <laughs> puto <laughs> man. Don't be jealous, Hector. You oh, know, I only have eyes for you. Shut up, man. Sweetheart, baby. Baby, shit, shit. This is a Grand Reaper agent codenamed Tracy. Has been spotted outside the chicken shop on Chigwell Lane. Chicken shop? <laughs> Ask him if he's still open, sir. Roger that. Come in, Grim Reaper. Is the chicken shop still open? Over. That's affirmative, sir. 6 p.m. until half past midnight. 20% off on a family bucket. Over. Who wants chicken? I am a touch peckish myself. Forget the damn chicken. This is a military operation. Hey, what about pizza? Right, who said that? <laughs> uh, the, the agent has been verified. Uh, we're good to go, sir. Okay, move them out. Slowly. Damn amateurs. Chickens, pizza, boys. Should be still getting molested by their PE teacher. Th there she is, sir. Uh, just across the courtyard. Codename Tracy. Tracy, huh? Okay, Lieutenant. Tell me that you can speak the language. Find out what's going on. So. Hello, Tracy. How are you doing today? Stella. Excellent. No, Stella, have you got any? He'll send me God's monkey, man. Uh, I'm Smith. Uh, you have something to tell me, I believe? How are you, man? Money and tobacco first. You lot should know the drill by you now. Very well. Eleven hundred in gold and five cartons of long chuff super kings. Happy? These are cigarettes and I didn't want them. I wanted baggy. But no grumble. It's all for a good cause. The information, Tracy. Aye, Jaffa McCracken and his war council have been moved at the very last minute over to that tapas bar. What ruddy tapas bar? You're in Newcastle, man. There's only one ruddy tapas bar. Langton Road next to the bank. It's close by. It's all going off at five o'clock tonight, man. Are you certain? Is this solid information? It's good as it gets. You can take it or leave it. It's up to you. Thank you, Tracy. We'll be in touch. Take care. Langton Road, 1700. Team A are gonna strike at the rear entrance of Gringo's Tapas Bar. Yeah. Team B, fire cover support. Daytona, Porto Rally. You will be on the AP-12. Hey. Stone, shoot anything that's not American. Time no offense, friends. Lieutenant. Mm. Team A, which is myself, Hernandez, Carruthers, and the Lieutenant, will be making the main strike. Let's do this. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Gonna Come on. hunt myself some... European meat. <laughs> no offense, Lieutenant. Yeah, yes, right. Carruthers. Yeehaw, non taken, cowabunga. What? Cowahoo? <laughs> Roger that. Gentlemen, this is it. Go, go, go! <laughs> Yeehaw! That slow hombre! Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, there's nobody here. No guards, nothing, man. I don't like this. Could be a setup, man. Clear. 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 Not a soul. Let's get out of here. I agree with Hernandez. I, I don't like it. Let's get him. Come on. It's a damn trap. Get out of there as fast as you can. Fall back to the RV. They found the one in the chest. I need some cover fire here. You ain't gonna make it. Roger, folks. This is Stone, Mr. Porterelli. You are under my protection. Proceed. 38, 39, 40, 40, 41. Okay, okay, this is Black, we under fire. Behind AR World, everything you'll ever need for the domestic robot, unbelievable prices. We are proceeding southwest. Roger that, Sergeant. Fight your way out. We'll meet up at the RP, 15 minutes. Roger that. It was a setup, man. Ah, uh, jeez, I lost the tone. He took one in the chest. I was, I was trying to fix him. He, he took one in the ass. It just exploded, man. It's all over me. They tone, man. I 
couldn't save his body. Okay, okay, everybody be cool. Sergeant, give me a head count. Minus D tone, I think we're all good, Captain. Good, good. What is it, Stone? Sir, what about James Bond? Who? The lieutenant, sir. He means, uh, Smith. He was in your team. Where did you last get an eyes on? We came through out the side window, sir. It was crazy out there. I couldn't see anything. I'll call it in, Carruthers. Is the line still secure, or did they manage to get a digital lock? Uh, I think we're still good, sir. The damn turkey shoot. Come in, Big Papa, come in. This is Stool Pigeon requesting airlift. This is Stool Pigeon requesting airlift. <coughs> Transmitting coordinates for the airlift. Ready to receive. Over. That's a negative, Stool Pigeon. You're on your own. <coughs> what? You just know we're fudgies. There's eight of you and it's a Friday night. Over. <coughs> Friday, I now listen to me, you little bowl of European cockfroth. There's only six of us left. Awfully sorry, old mate, but you're called Operation Steel Pigeon. The clues in the name, mine. Now, uh, I've got to get off, mate. I'm having a curry with the missus tonight. Word of advice for you. You might want to try Jeff. He's a sympathizer. Runs the chippy and slack street in Whitley Bay. Over. Good luck. Good to wait, wait a minute. Over and out. USMC and the British together. It's a freak show. <laughs> Cockfort. Captain, I like it. It's a good name to call somebody, man. I knew you would like Cockfort, Hector. I walk into it every time, man. Don't you ever stop, man. This ain't no joke, senorita. I've just ended the lives of seven men at the same time that you, Hector, were running down the road screaming, leaving the lieutenant to die. That's it, man. Nobody calls Hector Hernandez a coward. Come on, man. I'll kill you. All right, shut up, both of you. Hector, stop being a female. Stone, you did good. We a team. Gotta make our own way home together. Okay, we're gonna make our own way to Whitley Bay. Find this guy, Jeff, the sympathizer. Slack Street. Carruthers, you got a lock? Oh, uh, yes, sir. 18 clicks do east. We'll move out at sunset. Does anybody know what a chippy is? Sounds like uh, some kind of woodcutting instrument or something like that. I agree, Sergeant. That's good thinking. Okay, let's move out. Okay, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go.